I think we need to start with what are the effects of radiation on, on the body? What is radiation sickness? What kind of symptoms do people get? But even before that, yeah. what is radiation? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sure, that's sure. a good point. Good point, because it's, it's very unfamiliar terminology to most Americans. Um, radiation is an energy that is it's, it's, it's transmitted, and, and ionizing radiation is what we're dealing with in, in this type of a situation. Essentially, what it means is that it can get in, into your body, and it has the effect of breaking the DNA, which is the, the, the main uh, thinking parts of our cells. And it has the ability to break that down so that it can damage tissues in an irreparable manner, which can be quite harmful, and certainly it, with it, these levels of radiation. If you're, getting, if you're exposed to radiation, you don't feel anything. Right? You don't feel anything as it's passing through you whatsoever. So that's another term and, and, and a thought that really scares and is frightening to people. You just don't know. Initial radiation exposure, sickness, symptoms can be nausea, vomiting, diarrhea. Your skin can be damaged. You can have skin blistering. And then, of course, over the longer term, that's when we start to worry about the DNA damage to your cells, causing cancer, birth defects, a whole host of other symptoms that we need to be aware of. Absolutely. So we have early effects of radiation, which do include, um, and it's all really dependent on the dose that your body's receiving and in the, in the amount of time it's receiving it over. But that's exactly right. Some of the early things that people would see would be nausea, vomiting, diarrhea, um, and even in the next ensuing days could even lead to skin changes of erythema or redness, blistering. Um, there's a term that we have that's called acute radiation syndrome, um, which is a, a panel of symptoms which can occur in a setting like this when a very high levels of radiation um, are exposing people. And that's something that we might be happening to these poor guys that are in the, in the, uh, the plant in Japan right now. And these well, acute symptoms are due to literally cells dying in your GI tract, on your skin. What really is the big concern, and people will watch movies, and in these movies, I don't know if you've seen them, but there'll be this nuclear disaster and everyone's skin just melts away. You know, realistically what's happening is you're exposed to these radiation sources, and the real concern comes days, weeks, months, years, years. down the line, because mm -hmm. when you change your cellular DNA, it puts you at risk for cancer. That's one of the big concerns. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about that because you may be exposed to radiation and never know it until you're diagnosed with a cancer. And right. one thing I want to bring up, and you're an oncologist, is also um, birth defects mm -hmm. and then things that Absolutely. can be passed along to generations oh, yeah. because of that change in DNA. So that's you know one thing that's really scary for women who are thinking about getting pregnant with the radiation around or are pregnant right now. And, kid, and kids too, as they're growing, they're developing cells that are developing rapidly are right. more susceptible These, to cancer. But there yeah. are particularly particular organ systems that get, get affected more by the radiation effect, correct? Uh, well, they all get affected. Certain organ systems actually manifest those earlier. So those are rapidly proliferating cells, like we just talked about, the GI tract, the hair, the skin. So because those cells are turning over rapidly, we see those symptoms faster than we would say see symptoms that affect uh, the musculoskeletal system and the nervous system, which are cells that uh, you know, turn over more slowly, and then those effects are seen later. But what I wanted to say is, this is the injuries that happen from radiation exposure are unlike what we're used to dealing with, because it's something, as, as Lisa was just saying, it, it, it's going to get into the fabric of our DNA. It's going to affect our, our society for you know, generation after generation, and, and is something that just doesn't repair quickly, like a broken bone would. Um, so, exactly, the exposures to cancers, we know from experience with the Chernobyl incident, um, for example, uh, in that situation, we're still seeing cases of about 11,000 thyroid cancers in children that did not receive um, potassium iodide, for example, um, while they were exposed to drinking cow's milk that was radioactive from the I-131 in the cow's milk. So, so